Okay, so you have a failed LPSU and we need to pull the original one out so we could get ready to put a new one in. Now there are three screws holding the LPSU on. So you can see two there. And then there's one behind the main AC plug right there. Now there's also two terminals. Um, your main AC power, your 120 volts coming in, and then also your communications from the controller down here in the opto board. Uh, they just kind of slide right out like so. Then you have your high voltage wire, which this just loosens from here, slides out, and then you can unscrew this to separate it from the LPSU. The other side with the silicone hose on it is going to your tube. Then you have your negative tube wire, which should be this blue one here, uh, maybe a different color, but it should be the thinner gauge wire. And for this machine, for the 24, it goes to the back side of your meter where there is a 5.5 millimeter uh, bolt on there that you will just take off of there to get that terminal off. And that's how you remove it. And hold on a second and we'll show you how to put it back in. Hey everybody, so now you have your brand new LPSU and you wanna get it installed. Uh, let's just take a look at it real quick and we'll go over the parts and pieces coming off of this. Uh, we have our high voltage cable and this goes to the tube directly. Uh, we have our negative lead for the tube and this is going to go either into a terminal block um, on most of the machines but on the 24 it goes to the back of the uh, milliamp analog milliamp reader uh, meter and I'll show you that in a second and then you have your leads in for communication and it's going to come with an extra set of, of terminals you can just take these out because the terminals are already on the machine. So we don't need these. You can save them, keep them, put them to the side, throw them out, whatever you want to do. But so on the machine, we see we have our AC voltage and this is powering the LPSU. This is our 120 volts coming in. And here is our opto isolator board, which is um, optically sending signal to the LPSU for what power to send uh, to the laser tube. So this is what tells the tube to fire at 10% or 100%, what have you. And both of them have our ends on it, so they just plug right in. We have our other end of our high voltage um, cable going to the power supply, or sorry, to the tube. And then, like I was mentioning a second ago, we have our milliamp, uh, analog milliamp reader there. Um, there's two terminals on the back side. One of them goes to the tube. The other one is the one that's bare with no uh, nut or washers on it. That one is going to go to the LPSU. And that will take care of hooking this back up. So let's get that taken care of. Bare. All right, so looking at the machine without the LPSU in it, we can see we have three screw holes uh, that we have taken the screws out that held the LPSU on. So we're going to mount those first and then we can start to plug everything back in. So I'm just going to make sure that these wires are out of my way. I'm going to rest this in here like so. And then I'm going to grab the screws one at a time. and kind of slide up uh, top one, usually the best um, so that it holds it in place. I'm gonna get started. Now, if you use the tab uh, to help you hold, you know, these little metal tabs on the LPSU to help you hold the screw in, it's gonna make your life a little bit easier. Okay, all right, and then you're gonna put all three of these screws in and get it secured down, and then you can start to connect the wires.
All right, once you have your three screws in and the LPSU mounted, we'll take our high voltage connector and plug that in. Screw it down nice and tight, hand tight. Take your white cord and kind of slide it up in there and then you can tighten this little Allen screw down so it stays where we want it to in the acrylic holder. Our negative lead is going to go onto our meter, our amperage meter. And then we'll go in the back there and put the nut on to hold down that wire. And then we can come over to this side and we are literally just plugging in our two terminals here. So our AC power and then also our communications. Just make sure they're fully seated um, and we should be good there. And on the back side of the meter, you see that I have the wire already on there. Um, the washer and the nut are not on there yet. I'm going to do that right now. All right, so once you have the wire on the terminal, um, just carefully put on the locking washer, the washer, and then the nut, and then kind of just tighten it down the best that you can by hand. And then can zoom out a little bit. Then using a needle nose pliers or the right size wrench, a uh, 5.5 millimeter wrench uh, will fit over this nut and then you can use that to tighten it down. Once you have that tightened down, you can go ahead and plug the unit back in and we can start testing and making sure that this new LPSU is firing properly. Okay, so now that we have everything installed again, uh, we can just pulse from the, uh, the controller. Um, I'm going to test pulse from the side here. And to test pulse, I need to pull the opto board out so that I can hit the red test button. This one does not have the test button. I'm going to use a little pick tool here to press on that button. So once I press on that button, I should be able to hear and see the tube fire. I can also see on the meter. I'm getting about 15 milliamps. And that tells me that this is ready to go. I can go ahead and connect my opto isolator board, my communications. Okay, I can plug that back in. I do have a yellow light. Uh, confirming that we have communications and now we can test by running the laser with an actual file. And that's how you replace your LPSU.